So good morning everyone and welcome to your channel Learn Data Science with Pranjal. So this video going is going to be a very a short video but at the same time very interesting video and this video will probably uh, the code which I'm going to discuss will solve your lot of I, I'll not say it will solve but definitely it will, it will save huge amount of your time for the uh, for the data analyst and for the data scientist who are uh, day in day out involved in model building. So normally when we are building a model we are doing huge amount of data cleaning so before building the model so in data cleaning wherein uh, if i say we are handling our null values we are converting our labels uh, that is on non numeric to numbers then we are checking for those columns which are having some percentage of which which are having huge percentage of unique values so let's say 90 percent or more than 95 percent of the data is consisting of the same values in in short we can say it's a kind of homogeneous column or we may want to find out those columns where we may have huge amount of uh, outliers we may we may have some amount of outliers so if we normally what do we do we read a file so i have taken an an example wherein i am reading a file and i am doing my data cleaning manually so first of all i'll check my null values then i'll drop those columns where i am having huge amount of null so over here you have to manually check those columns which are having the null values so for example lane type pool quality all those columns were having the null and then I'm replacing the uh, I'm replacing the labels or the non-numeric data with some numbers. Then using my label encoder, I'm doing a data cleaning. So you have to write this amount of amount of code. And obviously, uh, when you are doing the manual cleaning, it takes a considerable amount of time. It may take one hour or depending upon the data. So if you have many, many, many columns in your data and many columns are null and they contains your non-numeric values so it may take huge amount of time but if i write a program if i write a program so this is a program the name of the program is data cleaning program and this program will take just one input that is your data frame on which you want to perform your data cleaning so i have already given the comments in in my documentation i have already given what this program will do so this program takes the data frame as input and performs the entire data cleaning, which means it removes nulls, converts non-numeric to numbers. It also tells about those columns which are having high percentage of nulls. It also tells about those columns which are having unique values and which are having outliers. So now if I run, if I execute, first of all, let's see the execution part. When I execute this uh, program, so over here I'm reading the file and after reading the file, I give a call to my function and it gives me this kind of comment so if i run this thing you will notice it runs and then if you notice your data has already been cleaned so now if you notice all the nulls have been removed and your information all the labels have been converted to all the labels have been converted to numbers and you over here you can see the commentary so columns which are having nulls it publishes so this is the information we are publishing for our further analysis. Columns which are having more than 40% of the nulls. So over here, I have taken the cutoff as 40%. Any column which has more than 40% of the nulls, it would be removed. And the columns which might have outliers. So you may wish to remove those columns. You may, keep, you may wish to have those columns. But at least now you have the information that which all columns have the outliers. And the columns which are having more than 90% of the unique values. So if your column is mostly consistent of the unique values, you may not wish to use them in your analysis, in your model building. So previously you have to check each and every column, but now since at this go, you already know which all columns are, probably may not be that much useful. So further on, you may, you may decide whether to use them while model building or not. So this is how my program works. Now let's quickly look at the code. So the beauty of this program is, it's very simple and we have used the standard method of our for loops to build this program. So first of all, uh, basically I have given the document, I have given the comments in front of each and every line, but still let me give the some high level understanding of this program. So at this line, what I'm doing, I'm trying to find out those columns where I'm having huge percentage of nulls and then I'm appending it in the list so higher percentage null so this is a list which i have already created then based upon that what i am doing i am creating one data frame now so 
at this point my nulls are getting my nulls are uh, i am identifying the nulls now what i wish to do i wish to replace them so if so i am taking an approach so if my data so at line number this what i am doing i am trying to find out whether my data is normally distributed or not if it is normally distributed i am filling it with the mean otherwise i am filling it with the median so i am checking the skewness so if skewness is between minus 1 to plus 1 I am filling with mean, otherwise I am filling it with my uh, median. Now, <clears throat> then what I am doing, I am converting my objects to number. So, df data type equal to objects. So, it will select all the columns which are object types and I am filling it with this. Thing. Let's move further down. Over here, what I am trying to do, I am trying to find out those columns which would be having the outliers. So this is the logic for my outliers. I'm checking my mean and I'm checking my standard deviation. After converting my nulls, after after filling my nulls, converting my labels to numbers, then what do I wish to do? I wish to convert those col I wish to convert those columns which are labels to numbers. So what I'm doing, I'm using SKLN label encoder and in a one shot go so this line will convert all those columns which are labels to number so now if we run this thing you can notice so it will convert everything into it it will remove all the null values convert your labels to numbers it will publish the information regarding your high percentage of nulls high percentage of your outliers and those columns which are having unique data okay so I, I hope this program will actually help the users or the people who are creating the uh, model and they are continuously involved in the data cleaning part. So with this, I will end this, this short video and I hope uh, you will like, you will enjoy this video. Thank you and for joining.